Hi, it's Dwayne Morris, the Urban Soul Chef. Today we're going to prepare meatloaf. All right, let's get to it. Got two pounds of 80% 20 ground chuck, 80 20. Sprinkling that with some salt. And we're going to use breadcrumbs, two Romo tomatoes chopped up, French onion soup, and two eggs. We're going to incorporate all of that together, no particular order, just putting it all together. And we want to mix it well, incorporate each ingredient well. Now we do 80-20 because that cuts back on the fat. More flavor, more meat. All right. Add the tomatoes in here. We're going to squish them in, get them incorporated. That's going to bring some moisture as well as flavor to it. I'm going to tell you something else. I normally put mushrooms in here, but I decided not to put mushrooms in today. I normally put mushrooms in. Mushrooms are very good to me. They add a meaty texture to it as well. But these tomatoes, once they start cooking, they're going to add moisture to the beef. So let me incorporate this in real good. Use both hands. And if you squish the tomatoes while you are incorporating them into the beef, that's fine. That's fine. Take our ground beef mixture and pour it into here. That's not going to work. It's messy, but that's okay. It's part of cooking. And say I'm using I'm doing all the filming as well, so. All right. Now we're just gonna shape this to shape that we want. I'm doing a low shape, so let's get busy. <laughs> You're probably wondering, what is that orange for? Stay tuned, you'll find out. Now what we're gonna do is cover it with some aluminum foil and put it in the oven at 375. Let's create a different type glaze. So we're gonna take the orange juice, the orange zest, and the brown sugar and mix them together. This is gonna add a different dimension of flavor to the meatloaf. Taste it, see what you think. You may wanna add more orange zest, may wanna add a little orange juice, but taste it, see how it tastes to you, and adjust it based on your personal preference. But this is the basic. Mmm, that's good. That is really good. I'd say it's perfect, actually. All right, what we're going to do now is put this on cell phone. Put this on top of the uh, meatloaf. Let's check it out and see what it looks like. Moment of truth. Okay, that looks good. Okay, we're gonna leave the top off the foil off for a minute and let it kind of get a crust around it. But it's cooking, doing real good. We're gonna take it from 350, take it up to 425 for about 15 minutes. That's what I'm gonna do. Because I want it to cook a little faster. All right, let's see. Put it back in and let it get a little browner. You can see it's brown quite well. You can see it's brown quite well. And all that, that's a lot of flavor right there. 
and you can see there's not much grease in there at all. If you wanted some gravy, a liquid gravy, you just add a little water, create a broth. And that's beautiful. Now, I don't even have to do anything else to it. It's, it's good just like that. But I want to add a, um, a twist to it. So I'm going to put this glaze on here. Beautiful enough to go in a magazine, a soul food magazine. It's pretty much done, but I have some bad news. I lost the footage of me cutting into the meatloaf. Man, but it is good. Try it out. Let me know what you think once you do it yourself. How does that look? Looks good to me. You don't see a lot of fat rendered on the outside. So that means all the juices are on the inside. All right, let's get the knife and cut it. See what it looks like. 